Kai and welcome to Hardware Heaven. Today we are going to be taking a look at God of War Ascension. Now this is one of the games that I've been curious at trying since I saw it at Eurogamer last year. So let's get straight into today's review. There are quite a few key points that I noted down whilst playing Gods of War. I originally thought this is just going to be like another hack and slash DMC type game and it's going to be the same and bland and there's not going to be anything really exciting but after a few hours of gameplay I quickly changed my mind and realised there was a lot more to the game than meets the eye in the first few levels. The first thing that is really really noticeable and interesting is the way that you encounter different levels in the game and I don't mean levels as in storyline levels, I mean actual three dimensional levels. Now there's at one point at the beginning of the game where the giant boss with multiple arms who I cannot pronounce his name flips up a corridor and as he flips it you flip and other bosses from different prison cells fall down and I really like the way that they're using the mechanics the bosses to actually change your environment and make it really dynamic and different and I just thought the way they combated a kind of a platformer in a sense was really really great and I thought this was really innovative and exciting. The boss fights themselves started off a little bit weak if I'm honest. It felt very repetitive until you realised that you just needed to do your combos and various skills to actually get them to the point where you could actually kill them. Now as you go along the boss fights do become a lot more difficult. You have to do different things like dodging attacks that will actually come down on top of you. The boss knows where you are so they'll do attacks to your position. You've got other mobs coming in whilst you're trying to fight the boss and it does get a lot harder and the challenge level does rise quite quickly and I found that quite interesting because I thought you know if it's a hack and slash game you don't want it to be easy it's meant to be one of those games that you find rewarding you upgrade you get better and better till eventually you can compete it on the hardest mode possible. The use of quick time events in God of War Ascension is very well done. At the beginning it was kind of like mash zero so that you could open a door but eventually they were implemented into the boss fights so that you would grapple the boss pull him to some sort of environmental weapon and then use the quick time events to kill him or lower his health so that you continue the boss fight I really like that because if you missed it then you kind of missed your opportunity to get that kill there and then and you had to repeat a phase of the boss fight so it was quite crucial that you were paying attention and I like that I like the difficulty and I like the way that the quick time events were actually necessary and not just kind of in there for the lols. As you go through the game you collect various orbs much like you do in DMC which allow you to upgrade your weapons, unlock different combos and overall get more powerful. You unlock them quite quickly which I was pretty happy about. There were a ton of weapons that I still didn't manage to unlock but I managed to up grade my swords quite a few times and it really did help. The mobs you encounter do get a lot harder, have a lot more abilities. In any hack and slash game they kind of double up how strong they are and how many abilities they have that are annoying and will hurt you. So you want to get more powerful as quick as possible so kill everything around you, search the hidden chests and things like that and I just thought the way it was implemented was great. The combos you learn aren't that great because there's already quite a few available to you at the beginning but you'll just learn them by by mashing all the buttons possible and learning what suits you. Some people in this game would probably prefer to do heavy attacks whereas I prefer something that's a lighter attack so I was using a lot of combos that were based around the square key and I just found that a lot better. The storyline wasn't like a massive thing. I felt the mythology and the way the gods were implemented in the storylines you got through various cutscenes and various audio things that would happen around you was good however I wouldn't say I'd play the game for the storyline it wasn't really the strongest aspect of the game I would play it because the boss fights are fun the events are fun the way you upgrade the way the environment flips is fun the storyline is kind of like something that has to be there to glue it all together I wouldn't say it was by any means the strongest part or the most fun part in the game graphics wise I was really like wow really this is a new release but as you go along you realize it's just the way the game is it's very gory you're gonna see a lot of gore everywhere and if it was too realistic I'm pretty sure it probably wouldn't be allowed to be released because you do see guts pouring out arms being chopped off things getting squashed and I just think the graphic style is necessary because it just fits and it fits the war 
god mythology style. I really, really do like the cutscenes though. In specific, the cutscene at the beginning makes everything quite shadowy and dark. I was kind of hoping the rest of the game was like that. But you can see they spent a lot more time on gameplay and things like that rather than trying to make it the most prettiest of games, which I don't really have a problem with. Movement and dodging and overall gameplay on the game is pretty smooth. There are boss fights where you literally have to roll out the way of moves or you'll probably get too short. And I think it's quite vital that it's pretty clean, it's pretty easy. You can do it without any sort of friction or lag and I really like that it was very fluid the way you could move between different platforms and grapple hooks and fly over buildings I really really enjoyed overall I think this is a very solid game if you like hack and slash games it is different to DMC but don't be fooled at the beginning you'll think it's pretty similar but as you go along there are very big differences that make it I think a lot more enjoyable and there are just various ways that you can get better without having to grind things or repeat levels. There are various difficulties, easy, normal and hard. Once you've completed hard, you unlock other difficulties and so on and so on, much like you would expect. I would definitely recommend it if you are a fan of the genre and it's generally a solid game. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you next time. Bye.